years ago, protesters took to the streets of New York, creating what became known as the Occupy Movement. They stood up against social and economic inequality and corruption. Well, Nathan Schneider was one of the first journalists to cover the movement, and he joins us now uh, through Skype from Col Col Colorado, even. Thank you very much for talking to us. Um, can I ask you, obviously, the hatred of the so-called fat cats on Wall Street has died down a bit now, but that obviously hasn't stopped the movement. What do you think, four years on, uh, its defining accomplishments? I think its accomplishments have taken many forms. One is in networks that have spread across the country and around the world of activists who met through the Occupy movement in 2011 and 2012. And then another effect is the way it's shaped the discourse. Now in this presidential campaign in the United States, both Democrats and Republicans are talking about wealth inequality, they're talking about corruption. And I think that anger still persists that frustration and that sense that the society is being controlled by forces that aren't democratic. Do you think that that anger that you're talking about has shaped the co cohesiveness of the Occupy movement? How cohesive is it now? Well, at this point, you know, you have to distinguish between the moment and the movement the, and the broader uh, struggle around the issues that it identified. Uh, the moment has definitely passed. Um, happening in 2011 and 2012, those particular communities, that particular strategy and tactic, that has passed. But a lot of the networks that were formed during that time are continuing to develop in struggles around climate, around uh, democracy, around, uh, uh, around uh, black, the struggle for black lives now, mentality and uh, mass incarceration. So in many, many forms, uh, this story is continuing to develop. What role do you think then that the Occupy movement can play now in this sort of current and economic climate, not just in the US, but around the world? I think the important thing right now is to keep telling the stories of mm -hmm. these popular movements and to remember that, um, that people can rise up and people can make a difference in, in all sorts of ways wherever they live. Um, I think the real danger is that we forget these movements and we too quickly uh, go back to the politicians and we go back to the, uh, to the people in power and we forget um, the tools, the strategies, the tactics that we can use as ordinary people uh, to build power in our societies. It's important that we continue to tell these stories and continue to keep pushing them forward. Okay, Nathan Schneider talking to us there from Colorado. Thank you very much.